Let's step in here with the winner, Ricky Schmidt, the first time in uh, five races this year that this man's been beaten in the final, and you finally did it. <sighs> Thank Lord. That's all I know to say, you know. Lee, I'm the, you know, I'm, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You know, I like to lost the second round, you know, something bad. My car got loose when I run Lee that time, you know, but it stayed straight, and... Good Lord is with me, and I want to thank Goodyear and Motocraft a lot. You know, they, uh, they're sticking with me, and uh, I'm really looking for a big year next year. Congratulations. Thank you a lot. A big win for Ricky Smith in Pro Stock here at the Summer Nationals. Hi, I'm Ricky Smith, driver of the IDG 2012 Camaro. And, hey, before we had these big sponsors and this IDG behind us where we could come out here and race with these guys, we used to be in the back in the sticks. There's one place that stuck out in my mind pretty bad it was uh, Summer Duck, Virginia. I used to go up there a lot, match race at Roy Hill, but you can imagine that, you know, me and Roy Hill together. But uh, we went up there one time and it was getting dark. It was probably fall of the year, getting dark early. And you had to get the water out of the little creek in the back. That's where you had to put your water down for your bleach box. You dipped it out of the creek. And uh, it was done, got pretty much dark. Roy, we made a decision. We're just going to leave a line and shut them off, you know. Well, Roy, he said, no, I'm going I'm to run you. you know, I said, I, I'm, I'm racing you to the finish line. I said, okay, we're racing. So I go down through there, and I mean, it's dark. Summer Duck has got a, I'm talking about a big fall, turn to the left, right past the finish line. It drops from the finish line to the stop down there. I'm going to say it drops minimum 300 feet. It's that steep a deal going down and short. So I go barreling down through there and I'm looking and this was back when we had the photo cells that shined the beams across the track, you know, the old floodlights. And that's all you could aim for. You could, there's no lights in this place. We had a car sitting on the bank pointing his, at about the 3.30 trying to give us a little bit of light. That's all we had. And it's dark. I go through the finish line and about that time I realized, man, I don't even know where I'm at. Just lucky enough, it was a good enough moon that you could see the tree line coming around. And when I pulled the chutes, I followed the tree line as I thought where I was going. And I'm telling you, when I got out down on the other end, I didn't even get out for a minute. When I stopped, my foot was jumping. It wasn't shaking. My left foot was just jumping up and down, up and down. <laughs> That's probably some of the scariest I've ever been. Even wrecking a car, I don't know, scared me any worse than that right there because I thought I was going to wreck. But that was a pretty bad deal. And then that Roy Hill, he'd done what he said he's going to. He went to the 60 foot and shut it off. He said, I ain't going down through there, it's pitch dark. He said, you have to be a fool to go down through there. Just like his butt off. <laughs>